You want to know how to get big things accomplished? You got to dream big. I'm out here in New Orleans right now. Just got finished up with a uh, business conference. And right before the business conference wrapped up, there was a guy that was a speaker that said something that was incredibly profound. It was totally unexpected. He said the number one reason why most people don't succeed is because they don't think big. This is the number one reason why most people fail. He said the number one reason why most people fail is not because of the fact that they had some huge goal and missed it. He said it's because of the fact that most people, they thought too small. They had too small of a goal and they reached it. You got to think about that. Again, he said when most people are not successful, it's not because of the fact that they've had some lofty dream or some huge aspiration, you know, some real big adventure that they wanted to go on. It's not because of the fact that they dream big. It's because of the fact that they dream small. And because of the fact that they dream so small, they hit their goal and that was their end. You cannot be a victim to small thinking. Now, you might have gone your entire life and, you know, people might have always talked about you and told you what you could and could not do. And you've probably been around other people and you've measured your potential around other people's potential. You said, okay, if somebody else could accomplish it or somebody else could not accomplish it, then I can accomplish it. Right. You look at the norm. You look at the status quo. You look at the 95 percent of what people are doing. And you tend to mold your own potential base around that. And that's one of the number one reasons why most people fail is because they don't dare to be big enough to dream big enough to go above and beyond the status quo. They don't dream to go above and beyond. You know what? What if I'm one of the top people? What if I can be great? What if I can do things where it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing is about what I'm capable of doing. And that's what's going to decide how my life ends up. You got to know how to think big. If your dreams don't scare you, guess what? You're not really dreaming. If your dreams don't really scare you, you're not really serious about the things that you're doing. Because if everything is so easy, if everything is so attainable, if everything is that much of a cinch for you to be able to get things accomplished, then guess what? You're really not pushing yourself. You're really not taking yourself to every gear if you know that you can get everything accomplished. Now, if you're looking at life and you're saying, you know what, I'm going to go into this and give it everything that I got. And there's an 80 percent chance that I'll fail, a 90 percent chance that I fail. Then I would believe that you have an actual dream. Then I believe that you have a serious goal. But if you're always staying in your comfort zone and you're always just playing it safe and you know, you're never traveling to the unknown. You're never stepping outside of the box. You're never just going out into the deep blue ocean and just see what's out there all by yourself when everybody else is at home watching TV and while everybody else is playing around. If you're not stepping outside of your own boundaries to get things done, you're not living your own dream. You're living the narrative of what somebody else has told you you can be. Somebody else told you you're stupid. Guess what? You actually believed it. And that's what made you foolish, not because of the fact that somebody thought it, it's because you believed it. Think big, dream big, push yourself to be the greatest you that you can be, because there will never be a better you than you. And don't look at anybody else's accomplishments to dictate and measure what you should and should not be doing. So I want you to leave me a comment. I want you to tell me about a time where you dream too small and it came back to haunt you. Have you ever been in a situation where you said to yourself, you know what, man, if I would have really pushed it, if I really would have done all that I thought that I could do, I could have been so much greater than I am today. I could have had so much more done. But because of the fact that I was hanging around with, I was hanging around with people that were not that serious. So as a result, I wasn't that serious. I was hanging around with people that weren't that ambitious. And as a result, I myself wasn't that ambitious. I was hanging around people that didn't want to accomplish that much. And as a result, I didn't accomplish that much. I want you to leave me a comment and tell me about a time that you have dreamt small. And then I want you to tell me what you're going to do now to dream big. 
your success is largely up to how much work and how much effort you're going to put in. But the effort doesn't start until you're willing to have the mindset to put in the work. Are you willing to think big? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I want you to expand your mind. Think big. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's change the world.